The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me as we this week finish the book of Ruth. This is, of course, a very short book of the Bible, so our readings have been shorter. You'll have an opportunity to catch up on some reading this week uh, as our word and prayer sessions are very short. Uh, but this, on Monday the 27th, we'll have the fourth chapter, verses 7 through 12. So let us hear God's word together and pray together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear the word of the Lord from the book of Ruth, the fourth chapter, verses 7 through 12. Now this was the custom in former times in Israel concerning redeeming and exchanging. To confirm a transaction, the one drew off his sandal and gave it to the other. And this was the manner of attesting in Israel. So when the Redeemer said to Boaz, Buy it for yourself, he drew off his sandal. Then Boaz said to the elders and all the people, You are witnesses this day that I have bought from the hand of Naomi all that belonged to Elamach and all that belonged to Shilion and to Mahalon, also Ruth the Moabite, the widow of Malon. I have bought to be my wife, to perpetuate the name of the dead in his inheritance, that the name of the dead may not be cut off from his, among his brothers and from the gate of his native place. You are witnesses this day. Then all the people who were at the gate and the elders said, We are witnesses. May the Lord make the woman who is coming into your house like Rachel and Leah, who together built up the house of Israel. May you act worthily in Ephrath and be renowned in Bethlehem. And may your house be like the house of Perez, whom Tamor bore to Judah, because of the offspring that the Lord will give you by this young woman. So far the word of the Lord. Boaz acts boldly on behalf of Naomi and Ruth, to secure their future and their family inheritance. Today, God calls us to act with wisdom on behalf of the helpless, to perpetuate their life and to share with them the inheritance of eternal life. In his name, Jesus bears witness that he has will and will act as redeemer of us all. Let us pray. O oh, Jesus, my inheritance is rich from you. Give me a bold heart to share what I have received from your word and blessings. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The Pray for Us calendar for the month of June, for this 27th day of the month. O Lord, with thanksgiving we give you in happiness that the residents of the Hogaras Dottores El Boin Pastor have become active members of the local Lutheran Church, where they are eager to hear God's word and to serve in any way possible. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We continue with our weekly insert of prayer of the church. Let us pray, on, pray to the Lord on behalf of his church, all the people of God, our nation, the cause of peace, the needs of the sick, and others as they have need. O Lord, extend your peace like a river among the troubles and trials of your people, that nations may walk together in peace, the hearts of your people may rejoice, and your kingdom may flourish through the means of grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind, and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will, and sustain them into the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We confess our faith, speaking the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. 
he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We are bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>